Hey, I'm here to review this miniature video game system, retro video game system from Amazon. Um, this is what it looks like. It's made to look like an old TV, hence the retro style. It comes with this antenna, which is basically just a cheap piece of plastic. It serves no purpose except for aesthetics. You could just pop it out. It just punches into here, but I'll just take that out for now. Um, the button up top over here, this dial does nothing. I think it's just part of the retro look of an old 1980 style TV. Um, left, right buttons here, set. These are just two LEDs. This is the power button. You turn it to turn it on and then you keep turning it for more volume. Plays this cheesy music and here is the menu. Comes with a remote that looks just like an NES joystick and you supply two triple A's. And it's pretty much really simple. Let me zoom in on it. Oh, by the way, if you don't want to play on this tiny little included screen, which is micro USB powered built-in battery, you have the option of plugging in and hooking it up to your TV, but it's got to have RCA jacks. Let me pull this out for now. And let me just, whoops. I can choose from adventure, fighting, sports, shotting, which I'm assuming is shooting, racing, and puzzle. So it's got a bunch of different games. Notice I've got Super Mario, Mario Sick, you know, a few different Marios here. Spider-Man, one, two, three, a bunch of other games. Half of these I haven't heard of, but these look like a lot of basically NES games. Um, instead of hitting set to go back to the main menu, let me choose fighting. I can also hit select and start on my remote, which also returns you to the main menu. So let me just choose one of the shooting games. It's got Contra 24 and one. Let me choose that one. And notice that they're 24, 24 and one. Um, the first one is Contra. The fifth one is Contra 30. What Contra 30 is, is basically, Contra with the 30 man cheat code already built in. So let me hit start and one player and I'll be playing Contra. So it's a pretty decent emulation of the actual game itself. Now you might not hear this that well. It's because it's at max volume. It, it only gets so loud, but if you hooked it up to your TV, you could have this as loud as you wanted and it plays just like the actual game itself, the biggest beef I have with this is that every so often, and it happens regularly, so it's not like it's once in a blue moon, every couple minutes, the it activates the, um, whatchamacallit button. Hey, that's my spreader. Every so often, it activates the, the pause button, which is really annoying because I'm in the middle of a jump. I'll be in the middle of a jump and my guy, this thing pauses. I lose my frame of reference and I end up dying. So, you know, shame on, I don't know if it's a hardware issue where the joystick is being activated. Oops, I died. I don't know if it's a hardware issue where it's activating the joystick or if it's software. Whatever it is, it's really annoying and you know it might it might cause a few premature deaths. So once again, pretty cool little system, not perfect. It'd be nice if you can hook up your own joystick. It comes with one. I think you could buy a second one, but um I really wish you had the opportunity to use your own joystick because then you could use something quality. I mean, you know what, for the price, this is okay. Personally, I'd rather play using an emulator on my laptop, but you know what? For something portable and super cheap, eh, it's, it's okay. Anyway, I hope this review helps someone.